What's up everybody, Paul Carl here. I wanted to show you, um, I got some card scanned last night before bed and I just finished off checking the AI. Um, so I wanted to kind of show my workflow. What I've been doing is scanning them in groups up by player so that it's obvious, you know, which groups of nine are which. And just in case I get interrupted, what I do is I mark everything as not for sale before I export it. And I've been making an effort to um, do not for sale and then export specifically and not doing export and then not for sale uh, just to minimize mistakes or those little seconds where you're like did i already export it um so i think that helps um but yeah so now everything's exported you'll see part of my workflow i just hit exp for export so these are the ones that i scanned not a ton of cards um but yeah so they're all exported now to this is the remote desktop i got all the files here from all the different images all the CSVs. Um, it's important that the way the script works, the um, CSVs have to be just nine each for um, for this to work. So I'm going to copy these. Let's get rid of my that desktop. I'm going to put them in my demo, which still has everything from yesterday. So we'll go ahead and delete all this. None of those lots sold overnight. I'm, I'm not surprised. Most of the stuff I list takes a while. Um, but yeah, so then the process is just copy paste here and then we're gonna use the Photoshop to do a batch command. Um, but while this is copying, um, I'll, I'll stop recording for the boring stuff, but uh, OZ Ray from ChronoCard in the Discord um, told me about Pi Installer. So I could uh, use this, I don't know what it is, library, I guess, to, um, take these scripts and turn it into a .exe that um, people can use to run the script. The only problem is the script is tailored to my machine so I'd have to figure out what a workflow and uh, like file structure would be to make it easy for everybody else and then I can tweak the code turn it into an .exe and then other people can use it too. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Um, but yeah I just want to kind of show this off. I, I figured you know I work on this stuff you know in my my spare time or when i'm procrastinating on something i really don't want to do and uh i figured i would just kind of share it like what i'm working on here so i can get other people's ideas on things to do because i kind of just had completely written off doing lots for a long time so I'm like it just takes too much time but you know i thought scanning individual cards and doing the bulk listings i thought that took too much time for a while too so I'm trying to stay open-minded to all these different possibilities, especially with uh, code um, helping out with things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run this bash command. If you don't, if you haven't seen my video on how to automate your image editing, I would highly recommend that. Just because in eBay, these rectangular images, sometimes they crop the tops or bottoms off. And I like to make all my images square so that eBay doesn't crop them and potential customers can see the card the way I want them to see it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to let this run, do its thing, and uh, we'll start recording when I'm ready to upload. I want to give a little shout out to Smoke Stew on the Chrono Card Discord. He sent me a DM and told me that the best offer enabled, this is the syntax for it. So I, I added that in. That's a new addition to the script since yesterday when he DM'd me. I put that in there. And um, it's a true or false, but I think you put a one or zero. So one means yes, it accepts it. Um, but anyway, let's see if everything works the way that it is supposed to still. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to hit the run button. Okay, let's refresh this and see what happened. Let's see. It took a little bit for that. That was, what, like 150 cards? So I, I want to, I can look and see the video how long it took. Maybe like 30 seconds to a minute or so. It felt like an eternity. <laughs> so what we got here, we got 35. So that means what? No, that can't be right. 35, did it start at zero? One to 35. I feel like I'm missing an image. I think that should be an even number. One, two, three, and four, right? So there should be a 36, right? Let me refresh again. <laughs> no, there's just, oh wait, there's 30, back 35. Oh, okay. I'm dumb. This is, I should redo the how these are named because lot image front, I'm expecting front, back, front, back, like with Chrono Card, 
um, but the way that I have these titles laid out, the it's not one image after the other. The I should put the number in the front instead of at the end, so that way it goes by the first number. That's a change I'll probably make. Um, all right, cool. So it looks like everything worked. Let's take a look at some of my beautiful images for some Hall of Famer lots. I did some basketball. I did some fo baseball. A little bit of football. There's some cool ones in here, like these old prisms. These are really cool cards. Um, I like these ones too. The scans look really nice. I thought they were going to do, like, you know how the foil gets dark. I thought it was going to do it to this, but man, those, what is it, gems of the game? Pacific Crown, I think that's 94. Those are some really beautiful cards. Um, but yeah, so these are some of the lots that are going to go up. I'm going to price them pretty aggressively. George Brett, I'll probably price it. This card's like a 5 to $10 card, apparently. Um, I decided to cop it just to make sure I got the <laughs> card name right. All right, so everything looks good there. All right, so I, I'm checking it out. Everything looks good. Everything worked. N nothing, there was no errors here. Um, the best offer worked. Everything looks good, so... Let me know what you guys think of this little little project. And is this a tool you would use? Do you want to sell lots with Chrono Card? If it, if it is something that you would be interested in, like if this is going to be a little side project for me, then um, let me know what kind of features you would want. Because I'm going to have to put in something where, like maybe a configuration file or something where you put in like your business policies, your postal code, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's going to be something that needs to be customizable for every individual who uses it and um, I'm, I'm still thinking out what I want to do for these uh, titles here um, to figure it out uh, how to make it so you don't have to manually enter you could leave it like this technically but I want to have it be keyword rich and use as many of the 80 characters as possible just to try to pop up in more searches um, but anyway let me know what you think and uh, yeah we'll be, we're gonna call it a day on this now